Hey Vault Hunters, what is happening? Welcome back to the channel. I am Donny Mayhem and as always, thank you so much for tuning in. It is indeed the 7th of November 2019 and it's time for another hotfix from Gearbox for Borderlands 3. It is only a small hotfix today that addresses bloody harvest adjustments and a few bug fixes that raise concerns amongst the community. So, it will go live at 3pm Pacific today. And as I said, it's only a little update, so I shall just go through them quickly for you. So, starting with the Bloody Harvest adjustments. So, they say that Captain Haunt is a fun boss fight with multiple phases, but players were often skipping entire phases because Captain Haunt's shields were so low. We increased his shields to make the fight slightly more engaging for most players and dramatically increased the loot drop chance so players are compensated nicely for defeating Captain Haunt. Increased Captain Haunt's chance to drop the legendary gear. I myself, I haven't got the shotgun yet uh, after killing him so many times, um, so hopefully I can get that now. Uh, increased Captain Haunt's shields, as I said. The hectoplasm drop rate from ghosts has also been increased. Ghosts now drop two hectoplasm. Badass ghosts drop three hectoplasm. Loot ghosts drop five hectoplasm. Loot ghosts now drop more loot as well. And finally, loot ghosts have an increased increased having an increased chance of dropping bloody harvest specific legendary gear which is cool uh, i've only had one legendary from loot ghost so far so hopefully that's now buffed so on to the terror anointments so following what we've seen and heard from the community and the fading halloween season you are going to start seeing less terror anointed parts dropping from regular enemies Bloody Harvest enemies, including ghosts, will be picking up the slack, so if you're hunting to make a spooky build, you know where to look. So, the chance for Terror Anointed parts to drop from regular enemies has decreased, and the chance for Terror Anointed parts to drop from Bloody Harvest enemies has been increased. If I'm honest, um, I'm not really feeling the Terror um, Anointed uh, perks. I much prefer the old 300% action skill ones, but maybe that's just me. Anyways, bug fixes. There's not many to go through, just a couple, so... Firstly, anointed enemies are no longer immune to cryo damage. I must admit, I, I wasn't sure that I barely use cryo damage anyway. So next point, uh, they have addressed a reported potential progression blocker for It's Alive with the Abomination bot. Uh, addressed a reported potential progression blocker if players quit the game at a certain point in The Guns of Reliance. And addressed a reported issue that explosive gunpowder barrels were not showing effects when shot. And finally, explosions created by enemy badass weapons have a much quicker explosion effect to reduce screen clutter. So as I said, that's it for this hotfix today. Nothing really much to go at. If I'm honest, I'm, I wasn't really fin feeling the terror anointed anyway. Uh, and I kind of think the hectoplasm thing, they could have just really let you run um, the Captain Haunt you know, in heck like over and over. And I think that would have maybe been better. But anyways, that's just my opinion. So, But that's it for, day, for today anyway. All I can say is if you found this helpful, please smash that like button. And if you like my content, please hit the subscribe as well. Thank you so much for tuning in. I have been Donny Mayhem and I shall leave the link for this in the notes below anyway. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. for a fight.